Yeah. Oh, by the way, um, you should know, Myra, but Cursed, uh, the, that one leg legionnaire was also here. Oh. Uh, to, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, too. Uh, le legionnaire, he was there and he gifted 11 subs and he left. <laughs> oh, fucking cause. Oh, fucking cause. Yes. Why am I not surprised? Uh, yes, I'm not surprised at this point either, <laughs> because I what saw him. Gift, I saw him give. I saw him gift you 25, and then he proceeded to give me 11. Oh my god! It's so. <laughs> oh, it's uh, it's trauma. Yeah, he's really cool. Uh, mm -hmm. uh he's a dude. Certainly a dude. Okay. Uh, next video. Hello, YouTube. This is uh maybe my second to last video. Thank you for the bits, Curseful King. Fuck you. <laughs> new, wor new World Timeline of Failure by Josh Strafihis. Josh Strafihis. He's cool. I like mm -hmm. him. Josh, Joshy, Joshy, Joshy. Uh, this one is a long time going, but uh, Amazon, Amazon be Amazon, honestly. The fact, that they, uh. the fact that they just fucking completely overloaded themselves with so much failure at the same time is kind of astonishing to me to this day because every game mm -hmm. they had released so far had failed at some point. <laughs> so let's see this one. On the 27th of September 2021, yes. Amazon's MMORPG New World launched. It was an instant, incredible success, seeing almost 1 million players online yeah. on the first day. The launch week saw servers filling up, hour-long queue times and thriving PvP battles across the whole map. New World was heralded as the saviour of the MMO genre. Now, Skull. there are servers with five people currently online, mm -hmm. many with less than 50. The daily active player base has fallen by almost 94%. Yep. The economy has been destroyed with rampant duplication, yep. the grind increased to unbearable levels, yep. and crafted items scale down when you equip them, making crafting essentially pointless. Yep. But how did this happen? What went wrong when, and what will it take to fix it? I'm going to explore the timeline of New World, from pre-release hype to alpha and beta tests, public release, and then the absolute calamity of bugs and glitches of the following few months. So, sit back and grab a drink as we explore the incredible rise and then monumental fall of New World. As usual, a huge thank you to all... You know, the fact that the, fact, the, funny fact, the funniest fact about this whole situation for me is that uh, before that, the game, they released several games, and all of them flopped or were cancelled. And the fact that people still... still Still expected a good product after that is uh, making me con ma making me making me uh, realize that people calling calling a large part of humanity uh, br a, br a brainless brainless herd uh, kind of kind of right. <laughs> well, because I'm still hyped about Ashes of Creation, though. Uh, that's one's a little different in my opinion because at least they're taking the time of it and kind of showcasing their results. New world, oh, yeah. new world were them. yeah, new world were kind of like already on the slow, slippery slope, but people kind of all over the place coped about it all the time. Oh, for I fuck's think, sake! Well, I think, just um, ten subs. Uh, Ashes of creation is so. Give me a moment. Good. Oh? Legionary, thank you for gifting another 10 subs. Uh, <laughs> Let's go, Tama! I'm back. He's back. <laughs> He's back. Oh, Hi, cursed, wo cursed Wolf King got hit with a cursed sub, too. <laughs> oh, Akira, Vade, Ren, Mimi. Tama, I sent you a little message on Silinks. Um, Dex 1. Discord. I don't uh, know Factoid if you Dragon. Discord. Factoid Dragon get Akiro, Kitty Grass, yeah, Karakuizu, Renpori, yeah. Cursed Underscore, Wolf King, uh, Chia, Dex 1. Yeah, I think Cursed will give Wolf King decided to join in on the fun for giving me uh, money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to go Cursed there to wait. Wolf King, Chia, Dex 1. <laughs> I'm the fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to watch a video, man. Please. Oh, there's ears. Oh, there's emails. Oh, yeah, I want to put the... At least... You're still at work, Legion. At least, at least... At the very least... At the very least, use the... I don't know. Fuck's sake. Oh, my God. On do two. It was this moment he knew he fucked up. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. God fucking... 
like stop it and there you go I was like fuck you <laughs> legionary legionary can you chill please 400 thank you for 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 490 okay. bits and it is chicken this one after job can you guys chill? God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Uh -huh. And it is a cheer, Dex one. <laughs> no. <laughs> I refuse. Uh, <laughs> My man. Wolf King. Wolf King. Cursed underscore Wolf King cheer, Dex one. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf King. You know what? Yeah, just, that's fine. I'm just gonna let it ride. I'm just gonna let it ride. Whether to buy the Cursed sound alert that said uh, cheer, but, but, but that, that, but I Aww. can't. You... It's not mommy, sorry. It's mommy, please. And it is cheer dex one. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue the video. But uh, before I continue the video, but <laughs> yeah, basically uh, the fact that the fact that they expected a good product out of New World after everything that happened with the New World Cursed beta and alpha and everything is one. astonishing to me. That's why I'm so and excited. Many people have accused the MMORPG yeah. genre of being stale for many years, and a major new release would be seen by many as the shake-up the genre... It was it stale, though. Let's be real, it was yeah. stale for a while, and it's still stale, because a lot of people... Uh, I still remember the video where, where the, the most correct thing was said was that everyone, everyone released an MMO that was WoW Killer in, in 2009, and all of them died. <laughs> yeah. And it is cheer oh, X1. I, I, needed. So when Amazon Game Studios oh, announced New World, go. a player versus player hardcore fo Thank you for the bits. Honestly. Thank cheer you for X the bits. I love you. Thank you for the bits. I'm just uh oh, I'm just oh. I'm just vibing here. Thank you for the bits. Oh. RPG set on the map. I cursed underscore wolf me. king cheer Magical dex one. Spanish conquistador inspired <laughs> island of oh, fuck you. Uh, uh, no, I, I know you will. <laughs> Excited. However, for Cursed many, the studio behind it had already one. lost players' trust. Back mm -hmm. in 2018, Amazon Games cancelled oh. Breakaway, a multiplayer brawler they announced back in Cursed 2016. That also exists. King Cheer, Dex 16. One. Oh, existed. Then Amazon existed. Games had released a multiplayer shoot. <laughs> Crucible. I'm sad. Crucible. Why? What? Cursed underscore Wolf King Cheer, I wanted Dex to, 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 to give a little message to uh, Observer. I'll what? tipping like a little bit, but it doesn't work. Oh, I can't tip why you. Does it, does, why doesn't it work? Because it says I have to have like a credit card from, uh, wait, Cursed from either uh, Russia or Ukraine or Europe. I can have. Ah, I can give have me a moment. Anything. Give me a moment. I need to. I need to adjust Cursed this. Cursed underscore Wolf King I can't. Dex if I live in America, I can't tip you, bro. Uh, give me a moment. Give me a moment. I need to. I need to do this shit. You can give me the tip. Side widgets. I need to. I need to give this shit. Give me a moment. Uh, Did you call me Anita? Huh? Give me a moment. I need to do this shit. Uh, what did you okay, say? Okay, I need to. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> uh, because I, I I misunderstood how it works, so uh, yeah yeah I misunderstood how it works. Fake. Ow. Ow. Fake. Ow. Give me a moment. This is a, this has been a scuff scuff period. I'm 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 <laughs> because uh, I'm sad. <laughs> don't be sad. Don't be sad. Okay. Okay. Uh, give me a moment. Um, my brain just blanked. Widgets. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't be uh don't don't blank out. I I need you to I not. I just blanked out. I don't need. I need you to not blank out. To not be uh. Mind broken, thank you. I need to be broken. Okay, uh, does it work? Yeah, it works. Can you okay, it? it works. Now, give me a moment. I need to adjust the uh, the notification stuff on this from this site. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, notifications. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. 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 
Nyaas. 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 Bowser. Bowser. Why is it? Why am I saying Bowser? <laughs> Bowser. <laughs> Fireball. Yeah, fireballs. Oh my god, Bowser is so fucking hot. He's kind of hot, yeah. Like, oh my god, what? I want to sit on his belly. Okay, okay. What? Okay, okay. Now I did, <laughs> Why I think. Why are for Bowser now? Because he's so fucking hot. No! Yes! Just look at him. Just look at him, he's so fucking hot. Okay, okay. Um, hmm. Wait, uh, trauma, you still here? Huh? Trauma, 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 trauma. Wait, I'm gonna okay. tag him. You still here? Trauma. Is trauma legionnaire? Yep. Ah, trauma. Uh, okay. Okay. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Okay. Um. You can try again, maybe. Okay. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Does it work try now? Try again. I don't know. I'll try again. <laughs> try giving me more bits. <laughs> um, ah, he's here. Trauma's here. Ah, trauma is here. I um. Are you in the tiny vampire discord? What do you mean? Tiny I am vampire? not tiny, you bitch. Small. <laughs> Very small. Uh, oh yeah, I was. Um, the thing I said on Discord was, uh, you know, your little picture. I said you look good. Aww. You look really handsome, Trauma. You look good. Aww, that's so yeah. cute. But yeah, oh, uh, now you have the, you have like a whole, you have even have like a, you, you can even like an image out here, a text voice thing like that. I think it, it works, I think, maybe. I, know. I don't know, I'm typing my message. Bitch. Uh. This? Nope, it doesn't work. Why doesn't Why doesn't it work? Oh, well, that's me, bro. Oh my god, it's in Russian, bro. I can't understand shit. Why? Okay, why are you doing this? I. It's in English what? for me. Can you translate? Why is it in Russian for me? Translate okay. Uh, the page. Uh, click on the donation button, please. <laughs> Translate Thank it. you, of course. You look really nice. Click on Thanks the donation button in my about, please. It's I changed it on a different thing. In your about? Yeah, basically well, go into my about where section. I am. Wait, I'm gonna reload your Yeah, time. reload it, reload it because it's I changed it completely <sighs> to another site. <laughs> I don't believe oh, okay. you. Well, maybe wait. You're probably like a fucking garden gnome, you little shit. Oh my god, okay. My See? name. It works but it it works differently. <laughs> okay. Uh support the streamer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Uh very sorry. Wait, what? No, thank you. I'm um, sorry for me. Like let me help you to give me money. This is kind of look weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go you through a through a walk walk through tutorial. Bring it on, that bottom. Uh, Bring it on, fucking. And pay, wait, I want gremlin. to help the channel and pay the commission of the payment. What the fuck is this? All right. Um. No, that's basically uh uh. It, I ignore can't that. My mid, okay. <laughs> Call me I'm CJ. Than than two, Thank two, you for the follow. Wait. Call me CJ. Two one feet size. Oh, wait, nice. PJ? Oh, I'm 5.6, you dickhead. Okay. And I put, oh, I can put an image. Yeah, you can put an image. You can put an image or effect or a text voice thing. Oh my God. Legionary, you, <laughs> you answered me now. It was, I asked you that 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Oh yeah, right. Uh, basically, this what this site does. Oh, uh, I want to help way. the I want to help the channel and pay the commission of the payment system, so I don't get money detracted from me if the, if you kind of clip this button, which is good. Do not pay. is pretty good about this one. I like this. Next, mm. okay. I'm definitely taller than six. I don't believe you. What? I had this. <laughs> Talking to <laughs> Russian again. <laughs> 
Why is uh, it in Russian? Hey, pay PayPal doesn't work. Oh. I don't understand. It says PayPal disabled contact with support. 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 Give me a moment. Support, sir. Nick. I can't send you money, sir. Sir. Uh. No PayPal. Support, sir. Oh, okay. Oh, no you can, you can, you, uh, no, 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 uh, uh, the visa works from USD. It works, cards work. Okay. Oh, wait, I have to do it again? Okay, wait. Cards okay, work. you can continue the video, I'll just tip on my, on my own. Yeah, 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 just, uh, just it works, it works. Uh, um, I apologize for, uh, for the inconvenience, but everything works, I think. Curse Wolf King, stop this! First underscore Wolf King Cheer Dex One. Did you see what he said about me? Yes, I agree. Huh? <laughs> Do you think I'm breedable? You're Cursed very breedable. Underscore Wolf King Cheer Dex One. <laughs> what? Anatis? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> First underscore Wolf King Cheer Dex One. <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you don't say that about a lady. <gasps> you're gonna say, you're gonna say, you're going to say to me in my in my face that you don't enjoy the thought. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Cursed underscore Wolf King Cheer Dex Okay, let's continue the video. Crucible into open beta. Then yeah, Crucible existed for a week and then it died. Cursed underscore Wolf King Cheer Dex One. I think I think Crucible is the first game I ever seen that got unreleased back into early access. <laughs> Wait, how Cursed much did I tip? Let's have fun one. tomorrow. My favorite deals. You got, you got a, vi you got a, you got a video from, you got a, you got a. Cursed underscore Wolf King Cheer Dex You got a what Russian. What the fuck is going on? You got a Russian accent about this. Nice. <laughs> huh? What? What is? Why? It worked. I got, it's I got it out. How much did I tip? Uh huh. Uh, let me, let me see, let me see. Go up to the donate. I'm gonna go. But you're oh, not a I... lady. What? I'm a fucking lady. Uh... Don't you dare call someone older than you a brat. Oh, wow. Eh? Fuck me. <laughs> How much did I tip, bro? Uh, donation. Let me, let me translate that into, into, <gasps> let me translate that into dollars. Wait. What? What the fuck? Uh, how I gave you... way too much. <laughs> you gave way too much. I noticed that. <laughs> huh? Give me a moment. How much did you say? <laughs> Give me a moment. What the fuck? <laughs> how much? Did you tip Anatis? Why the fuck did you give me 60 bucks? 60 <laughs> bucks? I wanted to give like 6.9. Uh, man, you need to press six point nine, and then when I did the when I tipped, it says oh, thank you for the seventy four dollars. I was like, wait, what? Thank what? you, no, no, no. What? Thank you, thank you for. You need to, you need to remember to not say dots, but the uh, comma, comma is the one you use for dots. No. <laughs> Uh, what the fuck? And then it says, it says I, I tipped like one hundred dollars on my credit card. Oh no! No 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 no! It, that's fine. Anatis. Anatis, fuck. Help! Anatis. Your thing doesn't work, bro. You have to change it. I'm older than you, though. I uh, <laughs> no, you're fucking not. Wolf don't King. worry. Already, uh, what do I need to change it to? That's, that's honestly, this kind of. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? I feel like but, I'm 90 sometimes. <laughs> yeah, um, too funny. I didn't want it to tip that much. <laughs> yeah, fuck. No, you're not. Wolf King, uh, you're no. Oh, okay. I this would, is, I would, uh, I would return that, but I'm not sure how to because it's kind of complicated these days. <laughs> would you like Hi. to see my birthday certificates? Uh, sure. In general. Uh, I can consider I this really my birthday sure. present, I guess. <laughs> I'm not even 30. Yet. Oh no, I'm gonna wait. When's your That's birthday, okay. 
30th of August, which is two months ago. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> also wanted to give like six dollars, not sixty. Oh my <sighs> god. You know, I did uh, out of all the scuffs I ever experienced ever in my entire life. I did not expect this is the scuffiest one. I did, I did not expect the scuff to come from donations. <laughs> I admit. Uh, I admit. Oh, not showing you that, especially in general. Then how am I supposed to believe you? I, stupid. I am... Okay, you know I'm that's almost fine. thirty. Me too. I'm yeah, two thousand six hundred and seventy-three years old. You, you are. Uh, you are officially on my. Uh, you're officially on on the page on the page for. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, doesn't say recent nation doesn't say my name, so I'm kind of sad. Yeah, I'm gonna be. It should sad. say my name for God, thirty days. Oh, I'm my going. Name I'm there. going to say. I'm going. To, don't worry. It's it's gonna say that. An artist. Vt. Vt. No, I don't have any more money. Okay. Okay. Now you now I'm you're on the page. Sugar daddy now. Now you're on the sugar daddy way. You. You're on the page now. Uh, please, please be sugar careful. Daddy. Please be careful about your money, my dear. <laughs> yeah. I'm the sugar daddy now. I know, I have no more. Honestly, it was only uh, six dollars. Yeah. So now my credit card is full. Let's spice it up even more, says uh. Legionnaire. Cursed <laughs> <laughs> Oh, X1. swear to God, if you actually, if you. If, Legionnaire, the spice uh, is is oh fuck. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is what scuffiest uh -oh. stream I've ever seen? He got yeah. he gifted to me Cursed thirty subs. What the fuck am I supposed to? Deja, Deja got one. What am I? Yeah, Deja got one. Herb. I'm going to suffocate right now. What the fuck? Cursed <laughs> underscore Wolf King Cheer Dex one. <laughs> Um, um guys guys chill chill and food <laughs> <laughs> what has happened right, well that would be your christmas and birthday gift and for the next Thank four you. years yeah <laughs> i'm a small I'm a, I'm a small streamer what the one. fuck are you bullying me with money for <laughs> <laughs> so bully me with money Oh, uh, Cursed <laughs> underscore Wolf King Cheer Dex One. Well, no, actually, for the next two years, maybe. Mm -hmm. No, it's like twenty five dollars yeah. for like birthday oh, no. and Cursed Christmas and birthday. Okay, thank Cheer you for Dex the timing. One. Thank you for the timing. Uh, thank you for the timing. <laughs> but uh, uh, well, actually, actually, you know what? Buy can I just say? Okay, can I just? Money, sh 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 the sh sh hear me out. Yeah, hear me out. No, one. I talk. Observer, with the money I gave you, buy yourself a duck plushie. I will. I will take a photo of it, <laughs> and I will send you a photo. Cursed underscore wolf. Uh, can funny. I just mention something? I'm gonna make you big. Can I... I already do that, though. Can I just mention something that uh, when Anantis started Cursed speaking about uh, something, one. something, something, uh, about your and in this moment, a nerd played? <laughs> so you have to be worried about your nerd. <laughs> I'm watching a video, guys. Can we just chill out for a moment? All right. We're watching a I video. wish I wanted to give $60. Uh, I give 60 Cheer Dex 1. <sighs> I'm sad now. So, Cursed underscore Wolf King Cheer do you want to watch the video still? I think I think uh, Observer is on breakdown right now. Yeah. I'm kind of breaking down Cursed right now. Yeah. Wolf King Cheer Dex One. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Cursed underscore Wolf King. Wolf King. Oh, Wolf King. Wolf King. Wolf King. Wolf King. Please, please, please chill. Please, please, please chill. Please, please. Right. Please chill. Wolf chill. King Cursed is such a awesome. Wolf King. Oh my God. One hundred. He gave total of one hundred five <laughs> bits at this point. Can you can you stop? <laughs> I love how everyone in the stream is really old except for me. Yeah, you're 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 bibby. You're bibby. Ah. Oh. Fight me, both Cursed of you. You would lose. Okay. Wait, who is both of you? We're three here. Uh, Am I not counting? Okay. Aww. Cursed underscore wolf I will, I will, I will one. wait. I will wait. And this, uh, 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 I will wait until the uh, cursed wolf king underscore 
cheered one x1 king cheered x1 i would win would you guys ever do you wish would you, what you guys, guys ever, ever do, do voice acting? acting? I w I am I already know, doing voice do acting. That's what I'm saying. Curse didn't count me in. I won. I w I, I am already I doing voice food. acting. I would love to do voice acting. Yeah, I'm already Cursed doing it. So. Wolf King Cheer, Dex one. Uh, I'm gonna create video games. So I'm gonna ask them to do voice acting. Ah, <laughs> right, right. I would love to. How many of those? Cursed are there? underscore Wolf King Cheer, Dex one. How many of these are left? <laughs> He, 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 did the 105. Uh. <laughs> Cursed underscore wolf king chair um. does one. Uh -huh. Um, so, um... <laughs> uh, observer, are yes. you... Yeah, I've seen this script on Twitter. Ah, yes, I'm observing this one. Yes, uh, the, I, did, I did a few of those myself. Uh... Uh-huh. <sighs> Fuck is this? Cursed underscore wolf king chair dex one. You know, that's fair, that's fair. You've got to come to me, Wolf King. I'm not gonna go <laughs> to you. You stupid. Cursed underscore Wolf King Cheer Dex One. Like, ugh, come on. You're not even worth it. Oh, fuck me. Ugh. Cursed underscore. Wolf How King many of those are left? How many of those are left? I don't Gee. go to bottoms. And I don't go to bottoms either. <laughs> Cursed underscore Wolf King Cheer Dex One. Dex. Cursed wolf <laughs> underscore, cursed wolf underscore, uh, cheered x1 dicks. Okay, <laughs> x1 dicks. dicks. X1 dicks. Fuck. X1 dicks. Now she's gonna clip that too, for fuck's cursed sake. Underscore. <laughs> <laughs> Screech. God damn it. Screech. Screech. Screech! Okay. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Uh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. It's fair. It's fair. Mm -hmm. it's fair. It's fair. It's fair. It's fair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Already did. Mm -hmm. Did what? Cursed underscore wolf king. Stop! <laughs> Stop! Stop! I I try to Cursed ignore it. Wolf King Cheer, Dex one. Okay, you know that's <laughs> fair. It's just fair. gonna, fair. it's just gonna go on and yeah, on and just on and then. Video, video. Okay, video. Focusing. Game yes. Finally Underscore shutting that down. King King the new one. Lord of the Rings MMO joint venture between Amazon Games and Tencent has also recently been confirmed as shut down. One of the few Cursed games they were Wolf able King to finish Cheer, and Dex release, one. the Grand Tour game, a game based on the TV show starring the ex-Top Gear presenters, see. released to lukewarm reviews Observer. with no yes. positive critical reviews. We can't see on... Ah, uh, there it is. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? What the hell? Why is it doing that on uh, Discord? What is, it, what is it doing? It's not showing up. Yeah, it's not showing. Okay, give me a moment. On Discord. Give me a moment. Stop streaming. Screen, new world, go live. On Metacritic, ah, and then we pulled go. this from the digital okay. shop as well. Amazon Games have a track record of cancelling products or releasing mediocre games. Mm -hmm. So when they announced New World, one of the most ambitious MMORPG projects oh, in the years, they had a run, lot to run. prove, and the eyes of the MMO world were on them. Okay. New World was originally advertised as a game. Uh, I'm gonna go eat some salt. Uh, please do. Please do. Bruh. Bruh. I love you. I love you, Anatis, but I'm just kind of I'm just kind of breaking down right now. Uh, <laughs> what is the stream? What the fuck? How this how I did don't it, know. What, how how did this come to this? I, I don't know. I swear to There's like people in chat who like to <laughs> See the world burn. Leg le 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 legionary, legionary. Don't, 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 don't. It's fine. It's fine. Do it. Uh, do it. It's not. It's not like you need to get any money do from. It. Me. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Do it. No, don't, 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 don't listen to my. Do don't it. do it. Okay. Fuck. Player combat with territory <laughs> control mechanics. The PVP <laughs> would always be on with full loot, meaning outside of the safe cities, any player could attack any other player at any. Wolf King, Wolf King. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, if you if you're gonna overload my uh, my my stream with bids during my uh, actual uh, sh shadowverse for which I am supposed to focus on the story focus of the story storytelling I will um, 
I will fly to you wherever you are, and I will f I will feed you I, f I will feed you a spoonful of mayonnaise. Oh my. <clears throat> Ninzai, thank you. Thank you for the raid. I'm having a breakdown right <laughs> now. Uh, how are you doing? I'm the observer. I am a variety streamer. I stream five days per week. I'm pretty sure at this point, uh, five days per week, and I'm uh, I've been trying to react to a video and I've been getting blasted with <laughs> with every single version of a donation and someone gave me 60 bucks on accidentally completely accidentally <laughs> and I'm just <laughs> what the fuck is happening man <laughs> uh, uh, okay yeah happens shit happens shit happens shit happens should should do be happen do be happen yeah Okay, that's fair. Shit to be happening. Doobie, 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 Right. Ah. Okay. Okay. Now we just watch the video. 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 Any time. And if you died, you would lose all of your items. In December Thank you, everyone. 2018, this full loot. Oh, okay, fair enough. PvP cool, cool. Went in to closed alpha. Okay. Now, as an MMO closed RPG alpha. content creator, one of the opinions yeah. I hear a lot is how MMOs need to focus on PvP more. And my response is hardcore player versus player simply does not have the mass appeal of the casual player versus environment gameplay. And yeah, not to mention the fact that the casual, uh, casual uh, players will likely just leave a hardcore PvP game and the carpo PvP game, PvP game, PvP game yeah, will die. Fuck that. Will immediately die. After alpha testing, Amazon and most of them Studios immediately died. Too. They released this developer yeah. blog discussing the evolution of PvP within New World, stating how anecdotal evidence from forum posts along with the actual involvement in PvP within the game being tracked showed that players didn't enjoy being attacked all the time. The always on PvP wasn't actually that appealing to the majority of modern yep. casual MMO players, so they would be re redesigning it and likely adding an opt-in mode where you... That's a good decision because a lot of people like to just kind of chill out in an MMO, an MMO and do um. stuff other than that. But on the flip side, considering they switched focus in mid-production, that's kind of costed them a lot. You must manually flag the PvP. If you do not flag, you'll be safe. With no. player versus player now optional, the game faced another problem. It simply wasn't designed for player versus environment. Yeah. The game content had been designed around player-based conflict. And yeah. with only a few months until release, the developers had to scramble to create a player versus environment experience, adding in a quest, a main plot line, or dungeon bosses. This upset the PvP players who wanted a game focused entirely on them, and it worried Obviously. the PvE players who... Oh. They always want to focus... They always, like, yeah, yeah, okay. Let the game die then, you stupid. Mm. Yeah, I'm uh, not gonna say anything. Yeah, honestly, uh, these motherfuckers are uh, completely ignorant of the fact that their so, -ca so called sheeps and wolf thing, right? It's completely incompatible, incompatible with any MMO game because. Oh, yeah. Uh, shame. Wol wolves, uh, wolves will. Uh, Wolves will devour all the sheep, and when there's not going to be any sheep, they're going to get bored and leave, and the game yeah. dies. The game mm -hmm. wouldn't immediately, and that's stupid. Them. By switching focus so late in development, yeah. New World had potentially set itself up to be a disappointment and to it both did. demographics and it instead did. of a haven for one. On the 20th of August mm -hmm. 2020, alpha testing was announced with sign-up instructions. At this point, the PvP elements of the game were still being <sighs> pushed as flustered. the focus. The game boasted three joinable factions with player-controlled towns, allowing the controlling company to set the taxation rate. I'm actually flustered, uh, legitimately flustered right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, because this is like, okay. Oh, speedy. Yeah. I'm just kind of like... be alright. 
Yeah, I'm just uh, just a little flustered because like you know usually uh, I didn't expect anything like that. Which is like I I watched mm. a lot, watch a lot of like people much bigger than me go through that same kind of thing where like stop bullying me with subs. And now yeah. I am sitting here on uh, like barely 300 followers and I'm like, fuck me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> fuck me. Mm. Have a have a good have a good day, Ninzai. Don't worry about it. I'm just I'm just uh, yeah. Bye bye. <sighs> like what 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 why why what did I do? Like it's kind of like it's kind of an interesting thing. I also I constantly ask myself, but what the fuck did mm -hmm. I do? I asked I asked you the same thing. I asked you the same thing about me. Yeah, it's like sometimes you remember what you said. Uh, You're just being you. I guess so. Yeah. You're awesome and you're amazing and you're cool and funny and awesome and amazing. Uh, yeah, that's making it better. <laughs> the uh. the flusteredness is, is still there. I'm, I'm, I'm vulnerable. Yeah. I'm vulnerable right now, man. My mom. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I guess, I guess. You being you. I guess that's, that's what I've been told to. I guess that's, that's, that's what I. That's what I wanted somehow to like yeah. get people to like they see that I'm not that I'm kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> to be yeah. around. Yeah, so, um, yeah. It's it's unexpected for me that it happened so <laughs> so fucking so yeah. and now I understand I, I understand I feel I, the same way. I understand why. I understand why people do that to other people and saw the people because fuck 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 yeah i saw this the other side of this and it was really fun watching someone freak out and be flustered about it and i'm literally this right now ah <laughs> <laughs> huh? uh okay yeah 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 you fl you officially you officially saw uh observer lose composure live on stream that's fair of a town mm -hmm. when players bought houses there or crafted there or okay. upgrade the skilling stations as they saw fit. The banking system would be limited town by town, meaning no mm -hmm. centralized bank. You would store your items where you chose to live and need to manually carry them to another town if you wanted to move. Yeah. The design was much more hardcore than most modern theme park MMOs. Yeah. This was being aimed at more serious MMO players. Yes. At this point, New World was not intended to be a casual, friendly experience. Yep. The alpha testing lasted for several months, and even though all testers were under a non-disclosure agreement, questions began to surface about the game's cash shop. Despite being an alpha, it had a functional in-game shop. Amazon, thank and on you. on the 13th of May 2021, this tweet from the New World team explained that at launch, the in-game shop at will launch. only feature cosmetics. Obviously, when you say at launch, people go, people immediately sussed it out and like... What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Yeah. What do you mean by that? So, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was, uh, and I was something, something, something. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Notice the at launch bit. At launch, I I, I expect I, I imagine they wanted I re they really wanted to give some like pay pay to win shit after sneaking. But, oh yeah. But everything kind of exploded in their faces, so, so they had to fix the game actually. <laughs> yeah. Come yeah. relevant later. Two days later, on the 15th, Amazon Games released a statement mm -hmm. on the future of in-game microtransactions, of stating it would be cosmetic only at launch, but they would be discussing the possibility of a battle pass system in uh -huh. the future, of or selling temporary boosts to experience to help players catch up with combat or skilling levels. Of course. They also mention selling the ability to fast travel around the land. They state anything sold in the shop would also be obtainable via playing the game. Two months later, mm -hmm. on the 14th of July, the closed beta is announced, and on the 20th, it begins. Information starts being gathered. The formation of player-created wikis begins, and the YouTubers with access to the beta begin theory crafting and creating guide videos. The non-disclosure agreement is lifted, and the information on the game starts to spread. On the first day of public viewing, popular streamer Annie Fuchsia is banned live on Twitch <laughs> while streaming. Amazing. That happened. Yep. 
permanent ban. Your account has been permanently banned. Reason, you have been banned. Reason, you have been banned. <laughs> wow. No reason to... Just you have been banned. That's the reason you've been permanently banned. Damn. You've been banned because you've been banned. Thank you, game. That is... Wow. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go now. Okay. What, 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 what? Sorry. Something just happened? Uh, no, I'm gonna go talk to some others. Okay, okay. Um, um, thank you for coming. I'm gonna watch course. some videos. So I'm gonna wind down, I hopefully. Might, I might come back in a bit, or yeah. I might go to bed. <laughs> we'll yeah. see which one. But uh, thank you for having me. And I hope we can talk more tomorrow. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. milk uh, the, the pop-up explains this is a permanent ban with yeah. the word permanent spelled incorrectly uh, oh wait 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 what permanent perma permanently permanent ban with the word permanent spelled incorrectly one day later uh i'll uh i'll watch the leroy i watched the leroy before uh <sighs> okay um uh, i'm going to stop streaming right now for a moment apologize Later, July 20. Yeah, I'm gonna watch. Uh, I'm gonna watch the video uh, that you sent me, the Leroy Jenkins, because I feel like I need something. Uh, I need something to. Uh, no, I'm gonna watch the Leroy Jenkins. Other is one. Hopefully, I'm gonna be tired. I'm gonna first, be. A Reddit post appears discussing these starting zones. In New World, players do not. This has been a fun day. A starting yeah. zone. Instead, spawning randomly on one of the game's many beaches, following a similar early game experience and eventually Fucking ending up in a settlement this means groups of friends who started together and wanted to play together may not necessarily actually start the game together this lack of choice okay so back back to again let me give me give me one more. ah punched myself a few times uh punched myself a few times to like return myself to normal consciousness sorry <laughs> Fucking hell! Uh, I'm so fu fucking flustered, my my dear lord. Uh, uh fuck. Yeah, thank you, thank you, cursed wolf king. Cursed underscore wolf king cheer dex one. Uh, thank you, cursed wolf king. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. At this point, uh, at this point, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of scared to look at my, uh, at my, uh, yeah, yeah, I expected as much that I'll get fucking a lot, a lot, a lot of fucking clips today. I got a lot of clips, a lot of clips today, lots, lots of clips, lots of clips. But yes, uh, the fact that the the people of f f uh, the friends groups, uh, the friend groups who were friends, hello Izu, I'm suffering Izu. I'm I'm suffering Izu. I, I literally I'm suffering Izu. Uh, you got gifted a sub Izu. Uh, I I got gifted thirty subs today Izu. 
you were one of them is uh, uh is uh, my i have i have so much bits so much for, for um because i'm so flustered is uh, 31 yeah 31 subs thank you 31 subs i got gifted 31 subs uh, and uh, like a few uh, yeah and and like and like 700 bits 700 bits and uh and 60 bucks uh and i'm uh, objectively not not processing the suffering from success that well i'm not processing that well yeah they do like bits they do indeed like bits <laughs> because I'm flustered, Izu. That happens sometimes to me, Izu. I, I swear to fucking God. I am a cool. I supp I'm supposed to be cool, is it? But I'm not cool, is it? I'm not cool. I'm not. I'm not cool right now. I'm not cool at all. Honestly, I'm not really cool at all. I. I should be. I should be able to. I should be. I should. Fuck me. I should be able to comment. Uh, I'm not a tsundere. I'm not a tsundere. <laughs> In what manner of way I'm a tsundere? You got. Got. God, God damn it. I'm not a tsundere. Shush. I already understood that. God, God damn it. Okay. That's fine. Ah, oh, sorry. We just need to, need to cool. Cool down. Cool down. Need to cool down. Not a tsundere. Not a tsundere. Not a tsundere. You know what? I'm just gonna watch the video. This in your starting video. zone seems extremely. No, I think I feel like I feel like this video is uh is extremely important to watch uh, when you're not the way I am right now. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna watch. Okay, you know what? Chat request a video. Any video. Request it. A video. Anything. Uh, anything. Uh, fuck. Mm. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not uh, easily flustered. Okay. No, it's, mm -mm. Okay. <sighs> Try not to cringe. Fuck me. Uh, you know what? No, I'm just going to continue watching this video. Uh, then we'll, after this one, we're going to watch something else uh, that is more fitting. But. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stop for a moment. 
uh, and I'll just gonna say thank you. <laughs> uh, because yesterday was wasn't like a good day for me. Uh, overall, the whole situation with the um, I don't know if I told you on this channel about this, uh, but my um, I had like a video may being made right on my debut so i have been have have that being made right and um i was supposed to get it today <laughs> but the person who did the video for me for their own reasons i don't i don't i'm not questioning their reasons uh, they basically canceled on me last second so like 10 hours before that had to scramble up and do like research and like do everything in my power to like find a replacement to like get the video done for the uh for the debut uh that was a shitty day yesterday and like a argument with a few people so it was a <sighs> not the best And, uh, well, yeah, and, uh, I found a good, I, I found a different person, right? And they started today on doing the video, right? And even, even pointed out some mistakes in my document for, uh, for my video, right? And I'm just like, okay, that was cool. And I, basically, I didn't expect anything really out of today, but yeah, it's, uh, you made this plushie flustered. <laughs> you made this plushie flustered. A uh, little choked up too. I'll be honest. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's a little uh, strange to think. That so many people do care. And I was like, okay. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't even... <laughs> I, I can't even imagine what the fuck... How the fuck did I get there? Here? Uh, my, my Twitter is like five away from 800 followers. I, I'm here like 12 away from 300. I guess so, yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you everyone. Let's 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 watch. Let's continue watching. Let's continue watching um the video. But you know you, you know that if you guys if you guys ever need to talk about anything, I'm open. Uh, <laughs> I pride myself on being able to like talk with people. So if you guys want to like talk about your problems too, about whatever happened I'll try to um, I'll try to help out anyway because uh, I'd like to be someone uh, fuck my voice cracking I'd like to be someone to, that cares for people who watch me I like to be someone who cares about people who kind of support me right so mm, that's that's a good start right good start <sighs> okay I'm, I'm I'll stop being mushy. <laughs> I'm still being mushy on main. Let's continue critiquing New World. <laughs> Out of place for a social focused MMO, especially one with so yeah. much weight behind player versus player. Starting with your friends was the plan for many people. When people discovered. Speaking of friends, uh, you can't, you couldn't start uh, when you play, were, were playing in this game. You could not. That's nice. Hopefully that's not too painful. Hopefully you're gonna get some stuff. Uh, hopefully you're gonna get some stuff done and uh, be healthy. I'm not exactly sure about medical issues or whatever. It's not nice. Okay. Uh, it's not nice. Yeah, I hope this is for a good cause. Hmm. I don't know. I I honestly don't know much about these kind of procedures. 
but uh, I can only really hope that you're uh, you're gonna be all right, right, Bunny Bun Bun? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Ah, fuck. Um. Well, health is a very complicated topic. I can't really say if that's uh, a good thing or a bad thing or anything, but um, again, the only thing I really can say in that situation is that I, I, I want to believe that you'll be fine, so uh, feel free. Yeah. You'll be fine. Uh, believe this puppet who believes in you that you'll be fine, right? Right. Right. Kind of like, ah, dystonia. Let me actually check. I might remember what the fuck is that is. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I know this. I know what that is. Uh, yeah, that, that, that sounds na that. That's nasty. Ah, okay. Okay. I see. I feel like uh, if it's for a good cause... I hope you will uh, you will be able to like exist normally. You know what I mean. I uh, yeah. I hope you you'll be fine. Um, if I can provide even like small bits 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 of distraction, you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I hope that uh, I hope that uh, you'll be fine. <laughs> Love you, Unibun Bun. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll enjoy our time doing like covers and shit. I'm pretty sure if we were gonna kill, you're gonna stay around for the other covers if they're if they're gonna happen within that group. Should they happen, of course. I, I wanted to ask you because. Uh, I think that that's a nice that's a nice little thing. Evil King, don't need the bun. Unless unless you mean in in a in a in a, in a non Twitch TOS way. In that case, uh, I guess as long as there's there's consent, you can. <laughs> no, no, joking. Don't need the bun. Just don't need the bun. Yeah, it's nice. You'll you'll do them. You'll do them then. We'll uh, we'll handle we'll handle everything. Um I uh as food, okay, fair enough. No, 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 no. I prohibit you from eating my 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 uh what my uh, viewers. Uh you are free you are free to, to eat any other buns though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You are free to eat any other buns that are not my viewers, yes. My protection does not extend for 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 the buns that are not my viewers, but these but this bun is my viewer, so mm. unfortunately that's that's how it is. Okay. Besides everything, let's return to. But you had no choice and might start on opposite sides of a very hostile world, and even. But yes, um, to return to my point, I think that the fact that you you d couldn't even start in a group in this game because it literally threw you out of each other's way onto several different territories across the island was bullshit even if you were lucky enough to spawn together no the game not this one other buns not this one don't touch this one had no quest sharing feature people immediately began to feel unsatisfied the of next course. day a video was posted to reddit showing how fishing in the Windswood river would instantly crash your game this is one of the earliest public videos showing how new world might have some questionable coding if only we knew then how bad it was going to get. Just a little bit of questionable coding, just a little bit. Two days later, 24th of July, I released my first impression review, New World, a slightly above average MMO. My experience was complex. In the video, I experienced multiple slightly above average. and combat glitches. I 
New, New World haven't sent me a better cure different than you guys, but I can only confirm it's definitely a game. It's definitely a game. I criticized the extreme rep <laughs> New World was definitely a game that existed. It's an early game questing system, being endless fetch or kill X Still exists. I disliked how the three factions had no real identity beyond being different colors and felt the story wasn't fleshed out enough to survive on its own merits as a PvE game. And the PvP wasn't focused enough to appeal to PvP players. It felt like the kind of game where if there weren't people running around the world making it feel alive, the world would not feel alive on its own merits. However, the graphics and sound were top quality with the ambient lighting. I feel like graphics Graphics and sound is not a compliment you should be making in contrast with everything else because graphics and sound, while are important, are completely irrelevant when it comes to gameplay and gameplay features and everything related to gameplay. You can you can you can watch uh, good graphics and ambiance and sound design in a walking simulator because that's basically all there is to it except for a straight straightforward walking button press thing right. But in a game such as MMO, which is one of the most complicated game designs, uh, I think, ever in any, in any circumstance, you are basically required, you are required to be a good game first and then bother about graphics and, uh, and overlays and aesthetics and sound design. While it's very definitely important, right, it's, it shouldn't be the thing the thing in an MMO that you are known for. The best I've seen and the sound design probably being the best in any MMO. I feel the game had no real identity. I didn't know what it was. I called it a solid foundation, but it clearly wasn't finished. The same day, New World tweets out about how all in-game reports are manually reviewed by a human and there will be no automatic bans. Mm -hmm. It's important to remember this. It will be relevant later. Of course. Later. Two days later, on the 26th, a Reddit post titled I like the game, but the questing system and main storyline are horrendous. This received thousands of upvotes and hundreds of comments, with many players complaining. I was just expecting myself to share anyone about the spin off COVID and play the changes we are playing now. I said this is a fan of the game and wait to see the kid with a part of the succeeding series. The quest players. was soulless, repetitive tasks. Even the main storyline quest sent you to several yeah. identical locations multiple times. Not to mention, uh, not to mention, I watched on Aspen Gold's video. There was basically the same enemy over and over again, but with different coat coat of paint, and they were dumb as fuck. But it was the same enemy, same animations, same everything, just different coat of paint uh, on a lot of uh, a lot of the enemies. So they not only um, completely neglected the. Uh, the entire system, basically. They completely neglected it. Uh, they neglected the characters. They neglected everything. They chipped out because it was way too late into the development cycle. And they basically decided to switch focus on the normal PvE campaign, PvE game, without any plan about it, without any concrete goals, without anything of substantial... Uh, Nature, like nothing about this, N nothing, nothing, nothing about this was thought out. Nothing. Times to kill multiple identical enemies to collect multiple identical Bear items. Asses, yes. General player consensus is the. P like okay, let me let me let me let me make this clear. When you when you play something like Final Fantasy fourteen, right, or w World of Warcraft, you're killing those bare asses. Those bear bear bears, like ten bears, not because you want to kill ten bears, but because you're pursuing a, uh, as an objective. You want to level up, you want to finish a quest, you want to progress the story, you want to do whatever else, right? You you, you just need to do that shit, right? So uh, when the killing of the bear asses becomes the end goal of killing the of killing bear asses. <sighs> That's when the fucking shit becomes in unbearable. PVE, and I did not, I did not intend for that pun to exist there. I did not, I did not intend for that pun to exist there, but it exists, and I have to accept it.
aspects have been put in as filler around the PvP focus. Yeah. Eight days later, the 3rd of August, a Reddit post complaining about the garish, immersion-breaking cosmetic house pet, the Rainbow Lion. The New Rainbow World Lion. focused on a fantastical yet somewhat grounded Age of Exploration aesthetic. Mm-hmm. Players saw Rainbow the inclusion Lion. of this over-the-top pet as an almost mobile game level of selling out-of-place cosmetics. Amazon Games Studios defended the Rainbow Lion being included. Three weeks later, August 25th, the open beta is announced. It will be for all players and will start from the 9th of September. Two weeks later, the open beta begins, and on the 10th of September, PC Games N reports the beta test hit 141,000 players in a single day and became the fifth most popular game on Steam. Mm -hmm. It seems New World was off to an extremely strong start. With Mm -hmm. the non-disclosure lifted, guides for different builds and dungeons began to flood YouTube. New World had the best possible start an MMO could ask for, a lot of players. But they fucked it up. Obviously did it. Now was keep them. Ten days later, on the 20th, I release a follow-up video, New World, Is There Any Adventure Left? In it, I discuss how, even though New yeah, World is I still remember in beta, it is fully documented, meaning new players already have detailed guides for everything. Honestly, that's the, one, of the, one of the things I don't really like about um, the culture of mass media, is that every puzzle there are online or on the internet or everywhere, I can just type puzzle this and a solution will already be there. There is no sense of exploration because every single person who explored before me had left a detailed map or well, where to place my foot, where to go, what to avoid, what not to do. And I and it's it sometimes it's really hard to fight the temptation of actually going through and looking up the, these guides and looking up these things. And there's just not le- not a lot of one spirit of wonder left in the game, in the games people play. I explain how any video game releasing into a post-information state will likely see a wave of players speed run the game and then complain there is no content. Mm-hmm. And Amazon Games Studios will need to put out new content at an astounding rate to keep up with player demand. The- That's why I think um, focusing the game inherently around the story effectively shut this down in Final Fantasy XIV. People are just there to experience the story and then go do the ultimates, do the raids, do the everything uh, other after they experience the story, like most of them, right? Uh, and when there's no content, they just leave and return when there's content. It's as simple as that. Though what is much more likely is they will simply increase the grind to the end game. One week later, on the 27th, New World yeah. goes into full public release. Full the game public is release. buy once and play forever with no monthly subscription. That's Within good. only a few hours, the forums and subreddit are flooded with complaints about yep. every aspect of the game. The enemy variation is abysmally low. There's no variation. Human-shaped skeletons or zombies who all stagger the player on hit no matter how much armor you are wearing, yep. resulting in extremely repetitive combat encounters. Players are still complaining about how they cannot choose their starting positions to yes. begin the game with a pre-arranged group of friends and how some servers are already full up and the queue to get into the game was several hours long of new course. world could hold 2000 players per server of course of course of course uh, this kind of uh, song and dance has been repeating for many many years at this point when a big massive campaign company releases a game they're completely unprepared to the amount of people that flood into the game on the day of release the servers crash, the people complain, servers crash more, there's queues for hours, everything is on fire, people are panicking, and they're like, what the fuck? And everything is going over and over again, and nobody's learning, and nobody's ever preparing for um, for people, because sp- spending more money, apparently, on the servers before it's actually demanded by the public is a not good, is a not a good solution. You know, you not a single i don't know a single release of a massive camp a massive online game that has not been scuffed to hell and back prime example just the, the previous week what happened with overwatch 2 overwatch 2 released and then it exploded literally unfortunately not, not in the way that it became super popular but more in a way that it actually literally caught on fire because of all the people, because of the DDoS attacks, because of everything. They just literally caught on fire. And the fact that it's still a technically re- issues-riddled game t- t- to this point 
uh, so where some people are unable to actually even access their game. Uh, yeah, that's something, isn't it? That is very much something. That is very much something. That is very much something. And it's very much something, okay. And at one point in the opening day, the queue of players waiting to log in was over double what these servers had the maximum capacity yep. to hold in the game. Amazon Games announced they would look into getting more servers online. Two days later, on the 29th, May... Ooh... An MMO be struggling with release because the game company did not expect they needed actual a lot of servers for people being excited for a new MMO. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, a lot of people already played Overwatch for years and people who play Overwatch before that, they don't... Uh, I also almost always lost when I played Overwatch myself on the computer, so it's fine. I'm just saying that uh, it's a technically it's a technical issues riddled mess. Uh, yeah, Raven. Hello. I'm finishing up. I just had a delay because of shit. I'm finishing up this video and I'm done. Tired the fuck. Tired the fuck. Uh No, it's just uh, it's just very much. Uh, no, 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 it's just, it's just very much something, uh, today was kind of extremely extreme in other ways, so, yeah, today was extreme. I'll, I'll talk to you about, I'll explain to you about it later. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of flustered this, this, until this, this right now. Um, so, you know, one of the reasons, one of the, re I, oh, fuck me, I, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just completely out of it at this point. <sighs> I'll uh, I'll finish soon in a moment, honestly. Major gaming publications begin to pick up on the news of the queues. This but yeah, uh, if you want, uh, you can watch with me this video because it's uh, a new 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 world was a mess. Be the start of the news outlets focusing on the problems New World would go on to face over the following months. Yeah. Later that day, YouTuber Asmon Gold released the video the Asmon Gold New World Launch Experience. In the video, he experiences extreme queue times, multiple login. Amazon's uh, Amazon's MMO. Amazon's MMO, which basically uh, came out after every other every other project Amazon Game uh, Studios did. Falling flat on its ass. Issues where he is booted from the queue and then has Just to join at, at the end mm -hmm. and then crashes multiple times while in the game. Yep. New World remains <clears> close <throat> to the top of Steam's most played chart and Twitch's most viewed chart for the following day. On the 1st of October, VG Charts publishes an article talking about how New World mm -hmm. had mm -hmm. over 1 million players on its first day. Yep. The Steam charts showing a concurrent play account of just over 900,000 players. Yep. People are flocking to the game and it can be considered a success. Three days later, on the 4th, YouTuber Kira yeah, TV quite, releases uh, quite Should a You Buy This New MMORPG. He states, while the graphics and sound are great, the core systems get repetitive and the gameplay feels lacking. lacking. He explains the game is unlikely in its current state to become your forever game, but it isn't costing you a forever price tag. The fact New World is buy once with no monthly subscription is... One I think a lot, of, a lot of reasons why this game was attractive to people is that they, it was a buy once and just experience it game. Similar to Guild Wars 2, if I'm not mistaken, where you only really need to buy uh, the expansion and it's just forever yours. You just play it. No, no subscription model on Guild Wars 2 and no subscription model on this one as well one of its biggest strengths. Unfortunately, the lack mm -hmm, of polish... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they also did that one. They just basically buy once uh, the uh, the expansions, the stealth. You buy expansions and you just go on for as, well, as long as you want to. Some models, yeah. Some models tend, tend to keep a lot of, like, a very... Uh, 
Uh, I guess so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Non-sub. Um, the Guild Wars 2 is one of the most popular f uh, models, one of the most popular uh, MMOs out there. Have enough for quality to be worth the regular price tag. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying that um, um, Guild Wars Two is one of the most popular ones out there, and there, and they have the buy once, play, 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 whatever kind of thing. Elder Scrolls Online, I tried. It wasn't really my. True, true, true. Is beginning to show. One day after Kira's video on the fifth, a user post on Reddit showed how this. the higher tier armor set silk cloth clips through their avatar's hair mm -hmm. model. Many more Look. clipping issues like this would be discovered over the next few hours as players become It's a mess. Level. It was a later, hot sixth, mess. I release another video, New World, Will It Last? In the video, I compare New World to the film Avatar. Avatar released to extreme financial success but left no cultural footprint. It was visually stunning but not deep or complex enough mm -hmm, to maintain mm -hmm. a fan base or create a popular extended universe. I felt New World would be the same. Because of its lack of identity, I could see it releasing, being enjoyed for a few short weeks or months and then ultimately fading into obscurity. See, 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 see. That's a good example. That's a good, that's a good comparison. Avatar, the movie. Who the fuck even remembers Avatar at this point? Like, I, if you ask someone, like, when, when the Avatar came out and was like, oh, Avatar, 3D, big, big scenes. But it's like, who the fuck remembers what the fuck was that was? Like, it's like, oh, that that was a thing. That was a thing, right? Right. Blue aliens. That was a thing. The next day on the seventh, YouTuber Upper Echelon. True. It was. Uh, I mean, it was a beautiful film. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. But it's just. I don't know. There's just something about this that basically left. Uh basically left this phenomenon as it stormed in, existed in the mind of people for like a few years and then just disappeared somewhere. I don't know where, but it just disappeared. On games releases, mm, world, I, see, I, see. I am very worried. In the video, he discusses the fun gameplay is actually somewhat shallow after a few hours of playing and how he can see the player base leaving unless the absolute mountain of smaller issues. Oh yeah, I know it's as a sequel. And it's probably going to spiral back into the people's minds after uh, it releases again. But not a lot of people are actually talking about it, like on the overall scale of things, when you when you, when you watch the cultural marks. I mean, I mean, fucking Marvel has more of a cultural mark than they have, which is uh, kind of a shame. Issues such as the graphical clipping, repetitive quests, or lack of features to team up and quest share are all fixed. He predicts... Also, 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 just to really signify how New World were, was really... Uh, why New World was a thing. Basically, New World was conceptualized as a PvP focus game, right? But literally in the middle of production, they decided to, nah, 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 PvP will, will, will be... True, true, true. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me continue the thought. Um... People basically watched, uh, people basically uh, in Amazon Gaming Studio decided that PvP only game isn't like worth it, which is which is true, it's not worth it. But they decided it way too later, late. So uh, uh, they stripped a lot of like PvP only, th only stuff and tried to add a lot of PvE content last second. Uh, and it didn't work all that well. Uh, so there's a lot of that. There's a lot of shallowness. The enemy is literally the same enemy, with the same uh, like. They could have, they could have done the really good uh, PvP focused game with uh, a spirit of uh, this. Basically, this is basically inspired by the uh, colonization of America, but like fantasy land full of undead monsters and stuff like that. Uh, and you are the part of the colonization crew, and you have to establish your outposts and their trading towns of these colonial people that came in into this dangerous wild land. I mean, it's, it's not. Uh, it's not about the. Um, 
it's not about the uh, it's not about the uh, there is no natives here. There is no native populations here. There is only undead monsters and uh, some animals. Lots of lots of corrupt corruption. Lots of that kind of shit. Thankfully, they haven't like jumped into that snake pit. <laughs> Haven't, they haven't jumped into that snake pit of having natives you need to you need to slaughter. <laughs> it's mostly undead. <laughs> it's mostly undead. And some very void monsters or something like that. I shouldn't know that. I mean, nobody denies the parallels. Uh, the Conquistadors uh, whole thing is pretty much on the nose. It's just there is no real natives here or real culture to this place. It's just kind of a random, random wild place in the middle of nowhere with like undead and monsters and wild animals that is unclaimed by anyone except undead, wild monsters and animals. So it's kind of like a... The, it's kind of like them having uh, the, them trying to have a cake and eat it. You know what I mean? Eh, I wouldn't go that far. I think the, I think they just want to have the cake and not have the controversy of like, oh, you think natives are bad? You you need to play some uh, a con a conquerors to kill natives, something like that. Um, I think it's the opposite, because you get attacked. <laughs> Either way, uh, the main reason, I think, it's more it's not about the monstrous or anything. It's more about the fact that they want to have a cake and eat it. They want to have the cake of this uh, exploration and wild, untamed lands. And the the thing of like, like going into these wild, untamed lands and discovering them and, and, and bringing civilization into it. But also they want to, like... Uh... They want to avoid all the controversial stuff that possible that could possibly happen with the natives and shit. So they they do want to. I agree. I definitely agree. This game has been a mess in all kind of directions, in every single direction. A player exodus within weeks once the player base realizes how ins. I think the, the the main reason why it was a mess initially, even conceptually, is that this kind of narrative was supposed to be uh, even it was supposed to be PvP focused, right? So imagine that all of these people, uh, a, a, all of these people come to this new tame land, is and the first thing they're supposed to be doing, and there is uh, there is and the first thing that they are supposed to be doing, you know what they're supposed to be doing, Raven? They were supposed to be killing each other. First thing, they're going to slaughter each other out in the real world. PvP, permanent, permanent item loss, everything. Hardcore PvP. The first thing they're going to go after coming to this new land is going to after each other. Isn't that the wonderful, amazing undertone to have <laughs> in the game? substantial the game is in its current state. Two days later, on the 9th, this Reddit post shows how quests aren't the only thing being repeated. Several towns in the game are lit... Yeah, 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 yeah. They, uh, they kind of they try to pull away from PvP only, right? And they ended up having no, no good PvE. Uh, so they they ne neither make a, made a good PVE experience nor a good PVP experience. You know the game was such a fucking mess that um, when you start off in a group, right? You want to start with a friend. So like me and me and you decided to play New World, right? And we want to play together and we want to have the good time, just theoretically. What happens is that uh, every time a person starts in the New World, they are thrown in a random town. You don't choose. You're just thrown in the random town to do the same quest line, effectively, with no NPCs with no personality whatsoever. They're just the same quest line in different towns. So effectively, there's a big chance, sort of, 
But effectively, there's a big chance of what happens is that we are both, despite wanting to start in the same in the same zone to play the same game, we can be just thrown into opposite sides of the entire map, right? And we will need to spend hours to find each other. And there is no shared questing, so fuck you. Fuck you and your desire to play in a group. And I actually really not, don't understand how an, an MMO doesn't have content catering to group play at all. Like, what the fuck is that? Literal copy-paste versions of... Uh, they literally copy-pasted... Uh, it, 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 it stopped being PvP-focused. Yeah, it's it stopped being PvP-focused. That's the thing. They actually slapped really quickly together a PvE focus and make and make PvP and make PvP uh, um, and make PvP opt in. So it's a PvE game that sucks at PvE because there is no enemy variety. Oh yeah, the, the, that does explain it. But it's just it's just what I mean is they had a lot of content uh, already there. But they refused to go further on it. They refused to just kind of adjust the balance system. They refused to. They decided to cater to everyone, but they cater to everyone really badly, and we have this result. The same settlement simply rotated. New world has been in. So they ended up copy pasting settlements, copy pasting quests, and it's just so shallow and uninteresting. Nobody really wanted to, nobody really had any fun with it. Development for over five years, the game now has limited enemies, limited quests, and limited towns. Over on the official forums, moderator Z, a customer support representative, replies to a user and apologizes for them being banned, stating bots can automatically ban someone with too many reports over a short period of time. Soon after that, community Probably. manager Muggsy apologizes for moderator Z's post and states, I am not sure why they believe we are using bots to moderate, but we will investigate this disconnect. Okay. Around this time, mass reporting discords become established where users mm -hmm. can comment player name. If you if you hear this, uh, what is happening on the video right now, this is the, the absolute state of, of New World. All these issues existed all at the same time. Which servers they're on and why they want others to mass report them. They still exist. The next day, on of the course. 10th, there is a compendium thread posted on the New World forums listing every major instance of an unfair player banning or a 24-hour automated ban due to mass reports, mm -hmm. casting even more doubt on the claim that each report is reviewed by a human. They there weren't. There simply too many examples of automated mass reporting consistently resulting in a player ban. The Reddit threads start to echo this sentiment because of the ability for a guild to mass report... True, but they, did li they literally said it to people said it several times that we don't use bots every review every person every uh, every uh, everything is reviewed by a person they lied that's the problem they lied to as a cost to the customers saying that every report is reviewed by a person if they said that we have a bot system and we will double check faulty reports right that'd be cool that'd be cool nobody will be like oh bots of course Everyone uses bots. That's fine. YouTube uses bots. Lots of social media uses bots. That's fine. Maybe. I don't know. A player without any repercussions, you are now only playing New World until a guild decides you are not. Yeah. Because this is a PvP game, it has been discovered the most effective tactic to stop your enemy taking part in a PvP battle and to weaken their team is to simply mass report them before the battle even begins. <laughs> <laughs> Great tactic of PvP battles. Ban your opponent by mass reporting the opponent. Cast ban by by using by using the combined spirit bomb of your entire power on the, of your entire team. Ban them. Ban them all. A week later, on the 17th, the window drag invulnerability glitch is discovered and reported and quickly spreads. Before we look into what this is, we need to examine New World's bug reporting system. If a player discovers a glitch or a bug in the game, they're encouraged to report it on the official forums, which mm -hmm. involves filling in the forum's questionnaire explaining yep. what it is, and then what steps a player must take to replicate it. However, this forum is not private. It is. Honestly, that's kind of like, uh, that's exploiting, uh, it is Bongo. That's exploiting the game systems to your advantage and giving yourself, uh, and giving yourself uh, a leg up using some 
unsavory means. That is a covert operation, effectively. But it's a covert operation that shouldn't be possible, technically, I think. It is completely public. Having a bug report system is great. Having that system and all reports made with it open mm -hmm. to anyone is so monumentally dumb, I'm amazed this exists. Mm -hmm. What this means is players can just constantly refresh the bug report forum until a new glitch is reported, then read the steps to reproduce it, and it spreads like wildfire. Of course it this does. system is still used. This is why, whenever a glitch is discovered, it will take less than 24 hours before the entire community knows about it. The window drag glitch was the first moment players began to suspect the New World client was client-side authoritative. In any MMORPG game, you have the server, the main company controlled element, and the client, your own personal game window. The client shouldn't be able to affect anything substantial in the game. It is simply a way to experience the game. If the client could affect the game code, client-side hacks like aimbots, currency affecting calculations or infinite health cheats could be activated. The discovery of the window drag glitch and how it caused the client to stack up damage but not process it mm -hmm. caused mass panic because player versus player, the game's most promoted feature, was now fundamentally broken. Mm -hmm. In any area control PvP mode, a player could now stand on a capture point, then simply drag the game window around to become invulnerable. Mm -hmm. When they stopped dragging the window, all the damage that was registered would hit them instantly and they would die. But if they held the window for the duration of the match, they would remain alive on the capture point and make the other team unable to take it. One mm -hmm. day later, on the 18th, PC Gamer runs an article discussing the window drag glitch, explaining how it makes players effectively invincible. The yep. majority of PvP battles are now guilds, preemptively mass-reporting enemy generals to weaken the other side through automatic bannings, and then just dragging the window while standing on the areas to never lose points. Yep. The next day, the 19th, YouTuber Upper Echelon Games releases New World is in... So the game becomes not even fighting within the systems. The game becomes fighting using glitches, bugs, and uh, exploits. It's a hacker battle. Hacker battle. A terrible state. In this video, he discusses the mass reporting and window drag and writes in his description, New World is fundamentally broken from the ground up. Entire sections of the game's core loop don't work. The client-side mechanics are being exploited to a point where the PvP is completely destroyed and the economy is still a race to the bottom as one of the biggest releases in years. It is. It is kind of statement about the poor quality of the player base too. Yeah, it is. Uh, the fact that they are choosing, all of these people are choosing to abuse those glitches and choosing to abuse those uh, hmm? Use Corazmin has called on Blizzard to take action against online resignation and racism as well as a screenshot of player engaged in what described as racism and racist costume contest was brought to his attention. Uh, US Congressman Low Korea calls on Blizzard to remedy racism in World of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah, that's a... That's, uh, A U.S. congressman has called on Blizzard to take action against online radicalization. Uh, it's just a video. It's just a video. A race to the bottom as one of the biggest releases in years. The same day, massively OP reports on the window. It's uh, it's an it's an excerpt in, from another video. Don't worry about dragging it. Dragging invincibility bug. One day later, on the 20th, a post on Reddit begins to gain popularity saying unbound gear should not take damage in your inventory. In New World, because it's a hardcore game, when you die, your equipped items take durability damage. When their durability drops to zero, the uh -huh. item becomes less effective, weapons do less yeah, damage, yeah, yeah, yeah. armor provides Crafting less shit. protection. Whatever. However, the durability damage isn't limited to your worn items. Absolutely any equipable item you are carrying in your inventory, whether bound or unbound, will also be damaged. Even yeah. You've never equipped or cannot wear. Later that day, Kotaku run an article discussing the deflation crisis the game is now facing. It seems New World has too many gold sinks, and as a result, there mm -hmm. aren't enough coins in the game to sustain the economy. The game yeah. is full of taxes. You are taxed for using crafting stations mm -hmm. in town.
town or buying a house, then maintaining that house. You need to use coins to repair items and armor and to place buy Obviously. or sell requests on the market board. Because of this, players are choosing to trade items for items, not other coins. <laughs> When the money is, too, is uh, when there is so little money, you you choose to to trade items for items, <laughs> trade trade come takes over because it's just more convenient. That's kind of funny. And the value of a single coin is currently far too high. On the twenty first, YouTuber Yong Ye releases a video discussing deflation, titled "New World's Economy is So Broken It's Facing a Deflation Crisis." He explains how gold is so rare in the early to mid game, which is the majority of the player base currently. The economy has simply stalled. It's really hard to get an economy right, but they they got the economy so wrong, it's not even funny. A few hours later, Kira TV releases a video wow. titled Gold Dupe, New World's Latest Exploit. This yep. would actually be an ironic but still broken fix to the deflation crisis, because now extreme inflation is about to happen. Yeah. It seems the client-side limited authorization is exploitable with trading, and if a player-to-player -player trade happens but the player giving the gold lags heavily, the game registers the receiving player as having gained gold but does not process the giving player as having Jesus lost Christ. gold. This is reported on the forums and becomes instantly abused. Players trade with friends, is. then use third-party lag switches to lag their client out and duplicate... But PvP? ...millions of gold within the hour. Despite the economy now being utterly destroyed due to the massive influx of duplicated coins and Amazon's inability oh. to seemingly track this, Amazon do not issue a rollback. The market board now... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Questing the pairs, but the action house is crazy. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see, I see, yeah, yeah. I can I can see that. I definitely can see that. Auction house. I heard about auction house several times, uh, from people who like watch play the game and they just mentioned you sell one linen cloth to vendor and uh, and to work it's work worth twenty four copper or so. Okay. Now becomes completely bought out of most items. If you are not duplicating gold at this point, oh Jesus! Point, you are now months behind in wealth generation. One day later, on the twenty second, this video is uploaded to Reddit, showing a speed bug where the great axe weapon gets stuck. That's yikes! Okay, that's that's a very that's a very big disparity between sell and buy. That's a huge disparity between sell and buy. in a charging animation. Players have been complaining the travel was taking too long, so this is actually seen as a boon to the community. It is at this point players begin to question whether New World should have remained in beta and was ready for a full release. Yeah, honestly, Three yeah, days that, later, should... another Reddit post showing another bug. If you cursor over an icon on the... <sighs> I'm just asking who would buy that? Like, who would buy that? Who, who, who would buy that? Who would buy that? Yeah, what? Who would buy that? Like, who would buy that? I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what's the purpose of that. I'm not, I'm that not sure what's the purpose slightly. of that. Then, when you cursor off, it shrinks to its original size. But if you flick the cursor over it quickly and don't let the shrink animation finish, it grows by a percent of its current size, not the original size. Meaning you can consistently increase the size of map icons. This is just. It's growing. A funny visual bug. It's growing. Look at this. It's Nothing growing. breaking here. The next day on the 26th. <laughs> you stroke the icon and it's growing. Mm, interesting. Interesting. Forbes runs the article, New it's... World Burnout is Setting in Hard. <laughs> By now, the majority of players have realized the game does not offer much variety from level 20 onwards. Yeah. The PvP mm -hmm. is still broken. The PvE um. is mostly fighting zombies or other humanoid-shaped creatures. The most yep. efficient crafting method involves gathering the basic resources for hundreds of hours and making the basic items over and over again. The player base is beginning yeah. to leave mm -hmm. once they realize mm -hmm. the game is buggy and somewhat limited. One day later, on the 27th, a Reddit post shows that a user cannot appeal a ban against them because the appeal process requires you to list which server you are on and the text box has a four character minimum requirement <laughs> you know this is just this is just a parody at this point this is just a parody at this point <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
despite the fact that some servers are only three letters long. <sighs> Customer support tells the player to simply put zeros to pad out the server length name. Let's hope this isn't an automated system. On the 28th, another period... Yeah, th this is... ...of major confusion <laughs> and upset begins. In order to combat the gold duplication via lagging exploit, <laughs> the game now does not process transactions when one of the players involved is seen as lagging or being offline. Yep. This works fine to stop the exploit for now, but has wider-reaching implications. It is important to note, these knee-jerk reaction hotfixes are... There's going to be a... Uh... Yeah, they didn't care about the rest of, at all. You'll see another another thing that is mind-boggling later. ...being added directly to the live game. Yeah, because yeah, Because at this yeah. point, New World does not have a public test realm or test server. Doesn't have so a public test realm. Tested nothing being tested before it goes live. Yep. This updated transaction processing method temporarily destroys the game's auction house. Mm -hmm. If you, as an online player, purchase an item listed by a player who is currently offline, mm -hmm. you will receive the item, but they will not receive the gold you have paid mm -hmm. them. If you place a buy request for an item while you are offline and it's fulfilled, the player fulfilling the request will receive the gold you put up as payment, but you will not receive the items they have supplied you. Mm -hmm. Amazon explains this would all be resolved, and the all gold be or resolved. items players were waiting on were not lost forever, simply stored as a backlog, and would eventually be paid out. However, yeah. if you had a backlog linked to your account, you were unable to transfer servers until this was resolved, and it would take several days to resolve. On the same day the auction house is thrown into chaos, I release a video showing how the window drag glitch could be it does. used to It absolutely TV does. In. I'm looking if at this, it does. A role, which is when a game functions, I appreciate the game f functioning. I appreciate the game working as intended. I appreciate there being like a level of craftsmanship involved in a game. I, uh, I don't, I definitely, I definitely think, I definitely think... MMO, uh, MMO, MMO should have a lot more care put into them than this. <laughs> an immunity of this. against enemy attacks and then drag the window in the middle of the role, the server would not process the end of role character status update, meaning all enemies around you, even if aggressive, would stop attacking you because the game server thinks you're still immune. I okay. proved this by having four enemies attack me, rolling and then window dragging and not losing any health even when I focused the window again. You can exploit this by using a heal over time spell or food item, then roll freezing. But it's not fun at all. Time to yeah. stack up and then then when you refocus, it will all apply at once, effectively completely healing you. This is more proof the server requires the last known state of the client to decide how to respond to the player. Mm -hmm. Later that day, the crouch heal bug is also discovered. And It is fun, um, but there is a lot of pitfalls, I think, people falling into. But yeah, um, definitely, definitely, it definitely is fun. Designing an MMO as a thing, uh, it takes a lot of time, a lot of resources. It's basically a mass level GM, and that's true. It's basically a whole company coming together to create uh, to create a system and then GM it. <laughs> Posted to Reddit. If a player places a healing aura down and then repeatedly spam crouches while inside it. I feel like MMOs uh, as games are uh, the biggest example of uh, world building matters. Like in RPGs, right? It's only usually like a part of the world a single game is participating in, right? There's most likely going to be a single city or a single uh, continent or a single uh, country. So you don't really get to explore other regions as much unless you release a sequel, unless you release a DLC, you know that. In, M in an MMO, you're constantly, uh, every single thing you put in there kind of matters. So world building matters more than anything else. Uh, world building is very cool. Uh, it's a key part to making an MMO succeed is to making the world actually feel good. Theoretically, you could try. You 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 could you could. Tomorrow, anybody? Ben, tomorrow, uh, and I'm gonna take a break on on um, Wednesday because this yeah has been. You would be, uh, yeah. If you, you could, you, honestly, Raven. I think that's the thing. You have a lot of skills for organization, and um, you have a lot of skill for. Yeah, you actually have a lot of skills for world building and organizing things. I noticed that's one of your strongest knacks. Plus, you really enjoy that. 
that's cool. Plus, you really enjoy that, so I think that's something you would appreciate doing uh, in a lot of ways. The heal effect will happen much faster than it should, showing in-game status effects are, for some reason, now affected by the characters standing or... Like, I would, I, I am not joking, I would definitely play, uh, I would definitely play a game if I, if I, if I saw your writing credit there, like, genuinely, I'm not even trying to do anything, I would, if I saw a writing credit of you there, I would play the game immediately. <laughs> Like absolutely, from the from the time I know you, you you wrote a lot of things I really enjoyed. So mm. crouching position. This heal bug is used in PvP to hold zones indefinitely, as a player cannot be killed when receiving this much healing. The next day on the twenty ninth. Uh, no, thank you. Yeah, um, I'm sorry about that. Give me a moment. <laughs> Give me a moment. Uh, can you ban, ban this person, please, Raven? You're, you're the mod. Uh, can you ban the, the, the thing, please? Or I can do this, too, if you want to. Thank you. I don't I don't appreciate I don't appreciate bots in my in my stream. I don't think you are you appreciate them in yours either. Thank you. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's the SYMK. Look up SYMK. It's the color of the book printing. Colors of the book printing. Basically, four colors. Colors of the book printing. C Y uh, C Y M K. yeah, C Y M K. yeah. C, C, not S, C, sorry. Odd uh, Slavic Cyan, 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 yeah, Cyan. Not C, not S, C. No, S M Y K, C M K Y, yeah. C M Y K, yeah, C M Y K, maybe, yeah. It's used in book printing. Yeah, 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I uh, mist mistook, in, uh, mist mistook, is C-Y-M-K. Uh, Inflation. I think, I think Bunny is trying to draw me right now, so. Ah, that's fair. Player base drops we've seen so far. Status effects are, for some reason, now okay, affected so by the character's standing okay. or crouching position. This heal mm -hmm. bug is used in PvP to hold zones indefinitely, as a player cannot be killed when receiving this much healing. The next day, yeah. on the 29th, Upper Echelon Games releases The Future of New World is Bleak. He recaps all the bugs, trying, trying. client issues, unbalanced PvP, deflation, inflation, and player base drops we've seen so far. God Later that know, day, man. I upload the New World is even more broken video. Look at this. Look at this. Possibly Look at this. the worst element of the client we've so far discovered. Look at it this. It was discovered the chat box in New World does not sanitize user inputs and mm -hmm. will accept hypertext markup language or HTML to hugely glitch what every other player can see. When a player links an item in the chat, that item is held in square brackets. The item will then have an in game image associated with it and show the item's tooltip when the chat box is hovered over. But by using HTML before the item, you can manipulate the image it shows and the size of the image. Mm -hmm. It was as simple as typing the new image location and stating the size of the new image before any linked item. We then discovered you could do this with possibly the best image, the sausage. New World is made in the Look at Yard engine, so by linking to LY, Shy, UI, Images, Icons, Items, Consumables, Sausage, One, Dot, DDS, and specifying the height as anything much larger than it should be, then linking a random item in the chat, the item yep, image yep, will yep, become yep. a massive sausage, visible to this. everyone on the server. And everyone the on the server sees the sausage. This glitch. By attempting to link an image which did not exist and setting the scale to the maximum you could, the game would show a small yellow texture not found square, but it wouldn't be small because we'd set it to maximum. So this yellow image would appear above a player's head and fill the entire game screen and the chat box. It would then remain in the chat box due to its size until you reset your game. It was simply so big other chat could not push it up fast enough. 
This became known as the flashbang glitch. And yes, you could do this in Don't worry chat about it. and lock up everyone's chat box until they reset their game client. But the most dangerous HTML use was even simpler. If you linked an item and then preceded it with this line of code, open bracket a data equals one, close bracket, then write any text you want and then end it with open bracket stop a, you mm -hmm. would cause a situation where if the player hovered their cursor over the text you had written, mm -hmm. it would cause a feedback loop which would instantly crash their client because you had set the data variable to one and then ended the data variable. And with no data, the client didn't know what to do. This Bomb. means you could type, oh my God, guys, check out this amazing sword in global chat, wrap this code around the link, and anyone who hovers over it would instantly crash. You can crash other people's games. With posts on the absolute state <laughs> it's so of the fucking box. broken. It is to you could crash other people's games. not a new thing. This has happened in other MMOs before, so it should have been prepared for. And the text inputs from users should be sanitized inside any in-game chat function. The same day, the crouch healing bug is reported on in the gaming media. All PvP wars are now battles between crouch healing and dragging the window. Another Forbes article appears stating New World has lost on average 135,000 players a week since launch. At the time of publication, <sighs> this player exodus this just... showed no signs of stopping. One day later on the 30th, a video is posted to Reddit showing how to enter the PvP battleground minigame Outpost Rush before the countdown yeah, has begun. Doesn't matter, a team but to still. Start with all of its players already yeah, inside it's still got their money. Yes. This glitch isn't complicated, it is simply climb over the scenery. It takes less than the That's the worst part. To do. The same that is day, the worst Amazon part. Games releases a statement on the client and how it is not 100% client side authoritative. The yes, information ponytail. is stored on the server, but the client has limited power to hold or delay certain bits of data, and certain checks will not happen until mm -hmm. the client says mm -hmm. they can. So, New World is not client side authoritative except for the it can be. when it is. The can't be, don't worry about Reddit it. Reddit is flooded with posts about a new bug, the hatchet damage increase. Bug. Hatchet it damage seems increase. The ability I don't remember the odds, that one. Which is meant to be a temporary increase to your damage when surrounded by enemies, stacks and doesn't ever fall off, meaning the hatchet is now the strongest weapon in the game and can one hit most players. This increased damage effect yeah, persists you can do that. even if you change weapons. The only way to stop it is to die. On the opposite end of the damage spectrum, an update to the fire staff and the ice gauntlet render them completely useless. In okay. order to combat the heal crouch bug all aoe effects now only trigger when the player or enemy moves inside them meaning if you stay completely still inside any area of effect damage you just won't take any damage okay videos are posted to reddit showing how the in-game uh, uh, you know what what's the most hilarious part about this Revan is that despite everything else uh they are trying to fix this game and literally everything they're doing to fix this game is making it worse consistently over the period of like weeks everything they're doing in this is making things worse how how can you achieve that i it's honestly mind boggling <laughs> they're trying to fix this exploit is there they're trying to fix the exploit they implemented another thing that causes another exploit instead they fix that exploit they're trying to fix that exploit that causes another exploit instead <laughs> and this causes this causes a chain reaction where it's just exploits on exploits on exploits also ignore AoE damage if they do not move. Remember, all of these updates are being added to the live game with no testing. With no testing. The 1st of November sees YouTuber Big Fry TV release Why the Hell is New World This Broken? In the video, he recaps everything from the long login times to the gold dupes and destroyed economy, the servers filling up and then being empty, and then the crash bug linked in the chat box. The same day, I release another video titled A Response yeah, uh... to the Fans, explaining I don't hate the game, I'm just very disappointed. And in the video, I show you another glitch. How do you, how do you have a, have a fans? This is this is this is what we call in on internet culture. This is what we call overdosed with copium. And I'm literally I'm so sad for a lot of MMO people because they just have a lot a lot of shit. And World of Warcraft. Yeah. Uh, See, but uh, there's a lot of people who just attack others, who criticize people without really... 
I mean, I guess, I guess so. I don't understand it. I really don't understand what what in this mess with no personality, nothing to really make it stand out, nothing, no, no interesting world, nothing. What exactly to latch? What exactly? What exactly is there to latch onto? If you accept a town project quest which requires you to collect resources, you can glitch the hand in and keep the resources. If you place the requested items in your memes are a valid reason storage and then make a market board posting of those items from your storage, then hand the quest in. The hand in will claim the items, but if you then go to the market board and cancel the posting you just made, you'll uh -huh. have all the items returned to you. This okay. means town project quests are essentially unlimited golden experience for no effort once you have all of the requested items. Okay. This bug is still in the game. Amazon Games now makes an mm. extremely dangerous decision. In order to combat the gold dupes, quest hand in exploits, and try to fix the economy, they suspend all wealth transfers between players, mm. meaning no trading directly and no using the auction house. Of course, of Wealth course, transfer course. is now turned off. Any of listings posted to the auction house will remain there until transfer is turned back on. This of course. will matter soon. As expected, such a sweeping change causes more unseen bugs, including mm -hmm. the worst gold duplication glitch yet. Switching yeah. wealth transfer off also means companies can't pay to start town improvement projects, but yep. if they tried to, a strange glitch would happen. They would attempt to start a project which cost a lot of gold, the project would fail, and the coins would be refunded. Yep. But they were never taken in the first place. Meaning companies controlling towns can now start spamming projects and reach maximum coin stacks within the hour. If you doesn't matter, no. Uh, they're just kind of around the iris. Basically, just kind of position them in the way you want to. You control the town. You and your entire company effectively now had access to unlimited gold. Unlimited which would gold. Be usable once trading was turned back on. Reddit is now flooded with posts about this, and anyone yep. not in a company is now months behind. It takes less than 24 hours for PC Gamer to run an article on this titled "Players Accidentally Trigger New World's Latest Gold Dupe." The article mm -hmm. also explains that taxes cannot be paid on company-controlled towns and all settlements on all servers are being downgraded as the upkeep payments are being missed. The in-game world is literally crumbling away, yep. with crafters no longer having access to the more powerful, higher-tier crafting stations. Callum Upton releases New World, the bugs are out of control, recapping everything we know up to this point. Goodbye. The next day on the... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The, uh, it's, it replaced me saying bees with bugs. Not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Not the bees. If you if you know the the Nicholas the Nicholas Cage movie, or like, not bees, not the bees. Yeah, just uh, just replace uh, the word bees with stop it, stop it. Cursed underscore Wolf King cheer decks one. Wolf King, stop it. Bad Wolf King. Wolf King. I swear to Cursed fucking god. I swear to fuck. One. Okay. Ignore this. Ignore this. It's fine. It's fine. Happened several times already today. It's fine. He's back. Cursed it's fine. Wolf King cheer Dex one. We're going to watch the video. Oh, another weapon exploit. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Just ignore this. Just ignore this. It's fine. <laughs> He'll be calm Cursed in a moment. Wolf King cheer Dex one. He'll be calm in a moment. This it's fine. <laughs> it's found the temporary great axe buff Bloodlust is remaining oh, on permanently, granting players up to thirty percent increased damage and speed. Ironically, this is now the only thing balancing the infinite hatchet okay. damage bug. The infinite game descends hatchet into great axe versus hatchets. Five days later, the 8th of November, mm -hmm. players are calling for emergency server merges. The game release saw record okay, numbers, cool. so new cool, servers cool. were added. Everything's the cool. state of the game was so mm -hmm. bad, the majority have now left, resulting in many dead servers. Uh -huh. Because New World is PvP focus, it requires players creating companies and interacting with the world to be relevant. The less populated servers now have ghost towns, downgraded crafting stations, and PvP quests are difficult to finish. I checked the state of the servers while writing this script on the 6th of December. Cross Look at this. Uh, uh, and people say that WoW server problems can be a little annoying. Raven, look at this. US East. Five people. It's not an MMO at this point. It's a co-op game. <laughs> it's not even an MMO at this point. It's a co-op game. <laughs> it's a co-op game. Five. Eight. 
9, 10, 12. <laughs> it's a fucking cop game. It is, but uh, there is there is like 2,000. 2000. Referencing the numbers from uh, both New World Status website and the New World Database website, and I found this. The player cap per world is 2,000 people. Some yeah. worlds had five people online. Many of them had less than... Uh, see, the problem is, uh, the problem is when they actually uh, have... When they actually started not with this many servers, the game legitimately crashed several times because the people overflowed this. There's so many people going in, so they crashed the servers, and then they got more servers, and then people left immediately after that because the game was a broken mess, uh, and they have the servers, and they don't have the people. ...than 100, and the most populated active world had 1,600. The mm -hmm. majority of New World servers are now essentially empty. Dead. The yeah. same day, trading is turned back on, and companies with maxed out gold instantly buy up the majority of the auction house listings across all servers. Because mm -hmm. the listings are still the original price people listed for them a week ago. Companies are able to outfit all members with max level gear because max gold is no longer an issue. The next day, the 9th, a public test realm... <laughs> Notice, it's been months... It's been months yet since the game came out, right? And they just now, just now, implementing a public test server. What the hell were they doing before that? Public test server, just now. ...is finally announced. Players will be able to test all the patches before they go live and find all the glitches before they're able to affect the live game. Unfortunately... Amazon forgot to tell players the public test realm will not actually not be tested, representative yeah. of what tested. the next patch will actually contain. And there will be many unlisted fixes or updates added directly to the live game, which were not included on the public test realm. <laughs> Did you hear that? The game includes fixes even after that. Uh, even after that, the game includes things that they didn't show on PTR. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't know, Raven. I don't know. <laughs> Are you losing as much sanity as I am listening to this? Like, what? what is this? I'm losing sanity. I'm listening. I'm, I feel like I'm slowly losing brain cells I, as I listen to this. <laughs> Beating the entire purpose of even having hey, a to dragon. test realm. The Void Gauntler weapon is also added to the game. However, right? I feel so much more appreciation. I feel like I feel so much more appreciation for what Blizzard is doing. Like honestly, when I see this kind of crap in other MMOs and they see it cut these kind of things in in other games. I have so much more respect for what Blizzard is having right now. Well, yeah, whatever, whatever little insignificant issues I probably had with the game, mostly, mostly just really insignificant stuff. But it's oh, I'm just watching an, a video about New World, and I'm slowly, slowly losing my sanity. Got to add it. Uh, that 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 very uh, in, in, in inevitable slow trickle of sanity just kind of flowing away slowly. To the crafting table, random Jesus Christ. chance. So unlike other weapons, which have a small chance of being made better with traits or abilities, the Void Gauntlet is always made as standard. Yes. And the extra attributes must be added using additional reagents, not randomly gained through luck. Meaning crafters were now at a huge disadvantage over uh -huh. adventurers who actually had the reagents, and the Void Gauntlet started off weaker than it should have been. The yep. next day, the 10th, I released New World, Can They Save It? I praise the increased community communication we've received from Amazon recently, including a statement on the client, the public test realm, and the misguided but wholehearted attempt to stop the gold duping by stopping the wealth transfer. I hoped this was the start of a more open dialogue between New World and the players. However, the town project hand-in glitch, where you can refund your items by making an auction house listing from your storage, still works. Two days still later, works. on the 12th, YouTuber Asmongold releases my full review of New World after playing 500 hours. He praises the graphics and sound design while critiquing the lack of engaging endgame content and the excessive amount of bugs. He states the smartest AI in the game are the Buffalo. He describes the game as a good foundation, but not there yet. 
there are still no swimming animations despite being set on an island and your character being a sailor. On the 13th, that's fine. Amazon honestly, re- honestly, that's fine. A lot of the it was it was proven repeatedly that a lot of the time the sailors working on ships actually don't really know how to swim, which is a paradox. I I don't exactly understand. Oh, Asmund Gold is uh, is a is an MMO player, uh, and he doesn't have a life. Asmund Gold is an is an is an is a World of Warcraft creator. He's one of those collective collective people who go around doing like grindy stuff to collect mounts. He's one of the rare examples of content creators that aren't like bent over backwards about the raids and shit. He doesn't really give a shit at this point. He just wants to do what's what, what's fun to him: collect mounts, do like other other stuff in the game. He's still gonna play the raids, obviously, because he's a uh, kind of like that's kind of his job to do it. But yeah, it's, he's a chill guy who lives in his uh, attic. <laughs> he lives in the attic. Releases a statement on the player-created minimap overlay. New World is designed to not have a minimap. Amazon Games explains the. Inc- he does play other MMOs, though. He does play other MMOs. Including of a minimap would be immersion breaking and ruin the adventurous feel they were going for. Yeah, yeah, it's it's fine. I th- I don't think raids are uh raids are raids are nice, but I don't think I like the community surrounding raids in like World of Warcraft in a lot of ways because there is a lot of frustration, there is a lot of like anger, a lot of like toxicity that I really don't want to. They raids say are scary. Big grand, uh, resource probably hard. Enemy spawn points, item locations, or player locations may result in a ban. They want players looking at the game, not at a map. Two mm-hmm. days later, on the 15th, wealth transfer is disabled again when another gold trading dupe is discovered. Trading uh, gold to a player who has no gold. What's uh, what's this one? It's uh, trading dupe number five. Gold dupe number five. I think it's five. It's fifth. It's fifth or sixth ones. Sixth one in the entire duration. So gold and then mm, disconnecting probably. in the trade Six, results in the player getting yeah. gold and the original mm-hmm. trader also keeping gold. Yep. Along with this a trophy duplication glitch is discovered. They did. They did the, they did the alpha and they did the beta and they, then they released it in that state. The trophies are high level items with intense crafting benefits and are extremely valuable. No, no, they have they have alpha, they have beta and they released. The board is now flooded with duplicated trophies and the economy crashes again. Two mm-hmm. days after this, on the 17th, Kira TV releases... I don't know. I have no idea. I genuinely have no idea. Didn't, ca- didn't catch anything. They didn't fix anything. They just had a beta, and then they released it. Nothing changed. Really nothing changed. Honestly. That's new world, new dupes. Nothing changed. Discussing the multiple wealth transfer or stops, the trophy dupes, and the now almost irredeemably damaged economy. Money is now meaningless to high-level players, and the majority of high-level companies on still active worlds have everything they could need. The next day, on the 18th, patch 1.1 releases titled Into the Void. This patch contains multiple bug fixes and updates, but unfortunately brings more major bugs. More. Patch 1.1, mm-hmm. for some reason, listed harvesting gear, equipable armor with <laughs> Harvesting speed and yield bonuses as future content. Oh yeah, I did. I did actually. I did actually heard about that. They literally deleted all of the harvest equipment at the same time accidentally. All harvesting gear is now removed from the game. <laughs> Players who spent hundreds of hours crafting their harvesting gear sets log in and discover they are naked. Harvesting mm-hmm. gear in your inventory or mm-hmm. bank is also gone. Uh-huh. Pure crafting players are now even more angry. Amazon mm-hmm. Games apologizes and says all the harvesting gear will be restored in the next patch. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. that may be some time away. The yep. next day, on the 19th, PC Gamer publishes an article listing all the failings <sighs> of patch 1.1, including the harvesting gear deletion, the hidden nerfs to some items not present in the public test realm, the lack of punishment for mm-hmm. known bug abusers, and the economic damage caused by duplication of trophies. By now, players this is like a train wreck. The major downside of patch 1.1. Experience required to reach higher levels of crafting and trade skills is now much, much higher. Mm-hmm. So make it, they make it the, the mid graft the graft They made it However, grindier, if you reached maximum obviously. before the patch, you will not be reset. Mm-hmm. Meaning any players who rushed to high levels and hit 200 craft skills before patch 1.1 now have a several month advantage over newer of players. Course, of course Training they crafting to higher levels now takes tens, in some cases hundreds of hours more and vastly more resources yep. than before. This increased experience requirement was not included on the test realm. Yep. Players are of course angry because wasn't. this is not new content, this is simply grind. 
many players theorise Amazon Games did not expect players to level through New World as fast as they have been, so needed to find a way to slow them down. Along with this, yep. patch 1.1 made gaining watermarks much harder. Once you reach level 60, you stop gaining levels. Instead, uh -huh. you increase your watermark number. The higher mm -hmm. your watermark rating, the higher the gear score of the dropped gear or looted items you may yep. find. This means grinding the few endgame dungeons will slowly but surely reward better and better items. Yep. Unfortunately, now with increased enemy toughness and decreased player defense of patch 1.1, playing solo is now a lot harder. On mm -hmm. the 20th, the YouTuber Lazy Peon releases New World Full Review, Pros and Cons, which is a balanced look at what the game has to offer, again praising the visuals and sound design and critiquing the lack of endgame content and rampant bugs. On this day... The See, I already mentioned it before, when I, when I started this video a long time ago at this point. Uh, it does, it's irrelevant, like it's legitimately irrelevant how good your game sounds and how gay look look uh, how good the game looks if your game is, itself is shit average it's literally irrelevant steam review score switched from mostly positive to mix obviously the next day 21st the lazy peon adds a disclaimer to his pros and cons review video and pins the comment which reads Ignore what I said about the game improving every week from 2315 to 2340. Amazon Games Studios made one of the stupidest decisions I've seen from an MMO developer with this recent update. They release a public mm -hmm. test realm for testing and feedback. People respond to it positively. On the first major update since the public test realm, they add a bunch of hidden changes to bypassing. the main game, bypassing the public test realm, and didn't mention it in the patch notes. The majority of these untested hidden changes are massively unpopular, make watermarking almost impossible for solo players mm -hmm. and are changes that nobody was asking for. Steam reviews have since dropped to mixed. Whoever's in charge of New World has displayed that they are completely clueless. How they still have a job, I have no idea. The higher-ups must be friends of Jeff Bezos and equally as clueless. I don't know anymore. Two days later, on the 23rd, the Probably. parody animation New World Into the Grind is added to the New World subreddit, receiving over 12,000 upvotes and more than two... See, see, only one one. That's the thing. People still play shared games. Maybe it's because it's, it's like uh, they have this overall attachment to it. Maybe it's because of the memes. Maybe because it's just, it's just interesting to watch this train wreck continue going on. But people play these kinds of MMOs with, with pay to win, with completely broken systems, with completely destroyed economies, with completely ruined players, player base for some reason. I don't really understand why, but they do it. There's many reasons. Genshin Impact 2, fuck that. I don't like this game. People still play it. 200 awards. Fucking Tower of Fantasy also. People still play it, despite it's been like a mediocre whatever. A, a mediocre clone of an already mediocre game. Video is a satirical rehash of the Into the Void advert for Patch 1.1. By now, the community are questioning if Amazon Games Studios really know what they are doing. Oh, no, now you're just questioning if, you know, if, if they know what they're doing. After 40 minutes of bugs, exploits, destructive behavior, and completely dis... No, I will never play Genshin Impact. Is discovered. Using a minimap add-on <laughs> in the game risks it getting never banned, play that. but having a community-made minimap website open on your second monitor listing all resource locations, all item spawns, mm -hmm, all mm -hmm. enemy roaming ranges, and all hidden lore locations is absolutely fine. For all competitive crafters and gatherers, this is an essential tool, and you now need two monitors. Amazon Plus, I really games banned minimap. Objectively, don't really like the community around Genshin Impact. It's, they can go fuck themselves. Um, Honkai is a different game. Honkai is a, it's a RPG stages. It's it's not trying to pretend anything. It's not. You just come and play a few stages and come out. Oh, hello, hello, Avina. Decided to drop by to preserve immersion, and in doing so, have pushed players to use immersion-breaking community maps loaded mm -hmm. onto a second monitor. Remember, they banned minimaps because of immersion, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. allowed the rainbow lion in the game. Look at this shit. Immersion. Immersion. Look at... Just look at this, Raven. Like, if you're still here, just look at this fucking shit. What kind of immersion you gonna play? If you're, you're gonna claim if you have this kind of shit as a pet you can have in your house. I mean, it looks cute. Looks cute. Like, I don't, 
I don't disagree. It looks kind of cute, but it's immersion and realism doesn't really have anything to do with this one. One day later, on the 24th, the forums explode with players saying they have received tens of thousands, in some cases, nights, nighty night, fuck it. Hundreds of thousands of coins to rip. <laughs> did you did, did you just woke up wake up Evina? Uh yeah, I, I did play Ion. I did play Ion at some point. I'm pretty Buy sure I did game. play Ion. Amazon Games stated they It's the is the uh two factions with wings, right? Thing. Where you either play the demon your demon or angel. Or some of that. Would be providing small refunds to players who lost wealth during the wealth shutdown, but they miscalculated and gave out far too much. Mm -hmm. One forum user posts, thanks for the 300k, and a New World community moderator replies with, congratulations. This angered the player base, showing how either New World wasn't taking this mistake seriously, or the moderators didn't actually know what they were congratulating. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they, they have. Post of glitching. They have absolutely no idea what the fuck they are doing. Is all mistakes and met with players replying. Congratulations. Enemy then publishes an article explaining the gold players received was a mistake, but as many had already <laughs> spent it and it had been mixed into the economy, it would be impossible <laughs> to track. So for the first uh... time, Amazon Games take the New World servers offline and perform a two-hour rollback, removing the excessive gold injection, but also all progress players had made in the last two hours. Mm -hmm, the course. next day, the 25th, PC Gamer publishes an article discussing the <laughs> mistake gifting of hundreds of thousands of gold to certain players and the impacts of the rollback. The game still does not have a swimming animation. Mm -hmm. Four days later, on the 29th, a Reddit post discusses the current state of the game. You, you think... Uh, I know coding, coding is hard, right? They should. That's the that's the thing. It's also one of the big content. That's what. That's also one of the bigger point of contention. That not a single punishment has been released to any of the proven dupers. Not a single one. Not a single one. Nobody's punished. Nobody's banned. Nobody's. No. No. no nothing is being done about this. They're trying to fix this, and breaking it further. And nothing, nothing has been done about people who break it. Explaining how the early grinders were able to max out skills before the grind was increased. The gold mm -hmm. dupers are still playing. The mass report bug is still present. And anyone starting the game now and playing legitimately would be months behind current endgame players. Yep. Many people in the thread explain the handling of the updates and exploits have killed their desire to play. The game now regularly fluctuates between 60,000 and 140,000 active daily players on uh -huh. Steam. A sharp drop from the almost 1 million players yep. on launch day. Four days later, December the 3rd, Game Rant runs an article showing how the Plankter server is now fully dominated by one faction. And even more so, it's a faction game. It's a faction game. They have three factions, or two factions, I don't remember. Something like that. So, so yes, so that's the thing too. Remember, if your faction owns multiple towns, travel between those towns is cheaper, and you can transfer items between town storage banks. This means any player not in the Marauder faction on this server is playing at a huge disadvantage, and new players cannot join the dominant faction. With yep. the dwindling player base and defending a town being vastly easier than attacking one, this is unlikely to change. Stagnation has now set in. On the same day, the Steam player chart drops, so 79,000 people are playing with a 24-hour peak of 131,000. That is a 91.4% daily player base drop from launch. Yeah. All MMO games see player base decrease but not by that much mm -hmm. on the same day an update makes crafting armor or weapons essentially pointless yep. a new system now makes equipped items scale to your current watermark level this means if you I'm, are a fresh level I 60 player God, with low watermark just... and you have crafted yourself a 600 gear score axe when you equip it it will downgrade to roughly 530 uh -huh. because the fastest way to increase your watermark level is to grind the end game dungeons and those dungeons will often drop equipment appropriate to your watermark level uh -huh. and any crafted gear you make or buy will scale down crafting your own high level gear is now pointless and buying uh -huh. high gear score from the auction house is, is also, also pointless, pointless because it might scale down when you equip it mm -hmm. you can no longer trust the stats you see on any weapon or armor mm -hmm. because they will change when you put it on game rant publishes an article on this update crafters are 
That is the dumbest shit you can possibly do in this situation. Why would the fuck would you? F why would the fuck would you bend over the crafting players even more so? Crafting is one of the most immersive things you can do in, M in an MMO. Actually, throw them a throw them a bone for once. God fucking damn it! Throw the fuckers a bone. You have fucked them over way too much. Are now even more God mad. Pure damn crafting it. players should not equip their own high-level armor because it will be downscaled to them and lose value. And they cannot sell it because the only people who would consider buying it likely already have it from all the dungeon grinding they've been doing. The economy yes, suffers but... even more. Reddit is now filled with people complaining about this, and many pure crafting players oh, are yeah. quitting the Mahjong game. This means guilds are losing their crafters. Three days later, December the 6th, a player is banned for having the word fart in their name. They appeal this and are told the word is morally unacceptable. They do, however, hilariously clarify with customer support that the word poop is totally fine. So the name poop player would be allowed, but stinky wet fart is morally unacceptable. This event adds even more weight to the theory that reports are not all manually reviewed and customer service do not always know exactly what rules they are trying to uphold or why. December 7th, Amazon Games release a statement on the official New World forums about the scaling for crafted items. The scaling will now not apply to any item you craft, any item you can earn from a quest, or any item you... Oh, don't worry, I suck at this too. And I, and it, and I did actually get salty back then when I played, where they played it because I sucked at it so much. I sucked at it so much and I lost and didn't win a single time. No, 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 wait. I won a single time. <laughs> I won a single time. But I did, I did get majorly salty because I did loss. <laughs> purchased from the there was a lot of salt flowing through my veins action <laughs> shop this means crafting your own equipment is now viable again but buying equipment somebody else has crafted for you is not and this is where we currently are new world has released players enjoyed it for a few weeks then players discovered how completely broken it was <laughs> then amazon games showed how woefully incompetent they are at updating and balancing an mmo and now it is crashing and burning new world is still the fifth most played game on steam meaning it is still likely making a lot of money and has a substantial player yep. base but a substantial player base in comparison to what? Getting people to try your game is easy. Getting them to stick around is hard. One million people tried New World on day one and now 100,000 play it on the daily. A 10% yeah. retention rate is not a great figure. It's Hopefully, not a great figure at all. will bring many improvements to New World and we will have a solid MMO to play and enjoy. I... But given the track record and the level of mechanical and system design skill shown, I am not holding out too much hope. Have you played New World? What are your thoughts and feelings? What was the worst mistake they made? I legitimately don't care about that kind of mentality. Like, honestly, go fuck yourselves, cat bunnies. This is why this is why things like Cyberpunk 2077 was released broken and completely destroyed and people and a great game was buried underneath all these issues and troubles and stupid shit because people were like ah oh, well they they'll probably fix it everything every single this or every single one of these kind of games is operating on we'll fix it it's fine people will will fucking eat it up anyway I don't understand this why the game cannot just function from the get-go? Why cannot that happen? Hello, Merlin. Hello, Merlin. We're speaking about broken games right now. And we're speaking about after a whole video of watching um, of watching New World Catastrophe. You know New World, Merlin? That was a thing. That was a whole ass thing, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a thing. <laughs> yeah. Also, you're a subscriber now. Enjoy your... Enjoy your uh, enjoy your uh, emotes, Merlin. You're a subscriber now. Yeah, also you also are a subscriber now, Vaid. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Let me know. Uh, Legion is kind of shallow and uninteresting from what they heard and saw. In the comments below. Another massive thank you to the supporters on Patreon and Twitch who keep the channel alive uh, and allow me to make deeper dive no. videos. Like this oh, hey, Anna, this, you're back. Yes. Yes, I do. Then. From only one pound a month. Did you eat? I want to know if, you're, if you were still reviewing videos. <sighs> I am very chill. I'm honestly, you know, you know when you watch a video uh, and you watch a video about something and eventually you start losing, you, you start losing uh, sanity over Hello, like Hello, Merlin. Hi. Hello, Merlin. 
But yeah, New World is a thing that still makes me lose sanity over all the all this time because I I remember reading about all of this kind of thing, right? You know what you should watch <laughs> is a uh, cringe Roblox stories. They are the best shit ever, and they make you lose brain cells. That's why I only have one. 